Hello and welcome. I'm gonna jump right into it. This is the way to get a lot of Venestella credits with four characters, or if you have some friends, get along, do it. Uh, and you'll you guys will be making a lot of money. I do believe I make about two hundred and thirty million Venestella credits every ticker. The little, every time you see that little uh, your wallet pop up and it tells you how much money you get in. When it pops up on one screen, it'll also pop up on every other person that's here doing it. So adding them all together, this is all going to my pilot. So I'm accumulating 20 million on one person. So it's everybody else that gets it too. So 20 times four. And then every 15 minutes, I do believe that's when the, the little ticker starts. So three Macarios, they're all smart bombing. They are the factions with the 7,500 meter range instead of the Tech 2, which is 5,000 meters. Every this is the Sun Shun's Haven. So every time I come into here, all of my carriers will approach that pirate gate inside and I'll show you here in a second. I had a little notification pop, I don't know what it was. All right, that's new. Wait. All right, sorry about that. So along with the three Macarios, I have a second ship that is using the uh, Mega Lasers. I have just Tech 1 crystals on it. The Tech 2 crystal is the Con Flag that I use. I use the Con Flag on any ship that bounces off of anything in there and they get outside of the Smart Bombing range. Everything else, I immediately lock up and just use the Tech 1. They don't break so I'm saving money and I don't keep having to purchase new crystals that just break all the time. So right there, the Tyrant, he's marked as 1 so I always use my other character or if you're, it's your friend, have that person tag the numbers of which ship is leaving the range of the smart bomb first every time they get outside of that smart bomb it's because they're bouncing off of uh, anything on the inside either the own ships or that gate whenever they get outside of the smart bomb range they don't receive damage so it's the job as, as the lasers so for, for me here is this paladin as I am fumbling uh, using what these crystals I'm using the wrong crystal once they get out too far you now you're gonna have to waste some time trying to take it down with your uh, guns and it like I said it just wastes time so you're wanting to jump between anomaly to anomaly as quickly as possible the faster you can do it the more you will get this is perfect in all sec for systems that have a bunch of havens because all you need to do is keep your paladins still everything else all the smart bombs can go straight onto that uh, pirate gate and I will show you too if you don't want to get too close with the paladin. I will show you on this next site. I will warp stop and then re warp. Because sometimes, if your DPS ship gets too close to the smart bombs, they can kill you very easy. I actually had one paladin that went, actually, this one that went into structure 50%, and I started crying because I almost lost 1 billion is on a ship. But I got out of range and I was good to go. See here, the top two on the right hand side i started numbering them like i like i told you whichever one comes out of the range first start tagging them so i should be switching to con flag here and taking them down as quickly as possible that's the only time that i use the con flag tech two crystals is that one has the most dps and i need them to go down quickly because they're no longer taking damage from the materials uh losing dps on them and it's slowing down I also have my other characters here on watch list so you go ahead and find out where what system I live in I really don't care I don't do this often but uh, just to keep a, an eye on who has what health uh, sometimes you might forget to activate a module and you could possibly lose it so here I warp and then I st I'm gonna stop my ship and then re-warp again so I can stay 10 kilometers away from the Macarios um, this paladin cannot tank those three materials. And then of course after the video I will show you what these fits are on the materials as well as the paladin. See I was trying to save the Rex to salvage him later but I, I totally forgot about it. 
I normally save the salvages so my uh, court mates, alliance mates can salvage it up. I really don't need it. I could just get it and sell it, but they have a better use for it than I do. So this is the Forsaken Rally Point. Forsaken Rally Points and Havens are the main ones that I do because you don't have to move the Macarios around very much. Since I am running four characters, I get two of the Macarios to approach one Macarico, and then that one Macario will that and then that one Macario will get into position where everything will spawn, so they'll be sitting there waiting for them. So those Macarios will do the most DPS and then the Paladin is just to snipe stuff that gets too far out of range. I moved on to the battleship and it'll take some time to take it down but it'll it'll go down. Yeah, see, right now I've, I'm trying to figure out which crystal it was that I was supposed to be using. I'm not too familiar with them just yet. I'm not a, a Mimitar player, but I'll figure it out and then the Beast Lord will be going down soon. So getting ready to go back to multi-frequency just to get some extra ships off. Uh, so here, notice how much or how fast all of these ships go down. By the time it takes me to lock them on and all the smart bombs hitting them, see they're already half health. But, so mainly at this time, since they're going down, I just take a hit from my vape and just sit back and uh, watch. So the little, the little uh, frigates, they die instantly. Cruisers take maybe two, two cycles and then battleships a few more cycles. No frigates, but then, yep, see, cruisers just went down already and then last is all, all four battleships. I start tagging again like I said before, uh, one's going to be getting out of range too quickly. I just put a vamp on him, maybe drain his cap a little bit, give me some, and then uh, switch to conflag and start applying DPS on that dreadlord. Trying to get him down as fast as possible so I can move to the next spot. Uh, whenever they get out of range it does slow me down and it's annoying but it happens. So. Uh, I move my Macaros just a little bit for or a little bit more up so I can get uh, they can be in my range I can be in the center of them inside of my range uh, better I got to go back to my multi frequency
So everything is done. I'm just gonna head back to my uh, next one. I never really timed how long it takes me, so maybe just follow along and see how long it takes. Uh, I'm gonna save this loot right quick. Uh, yeah, so maybe somebody else can use it later. Gonna adjust my glasses a little bit. It's kind of hard wearing glasses with headphones, over ear headphones, you know. You guys that wear glasses, you know the struggle. Same thing again. This time I actually warped everybody on zero so I can show you what happens if my paladin gets on zero too close to the uh, Macarios. Start switching over. I approach with uh, two of my characters. And then my main Macario just gets in position for when they uh, start spawning. See, I'm getting hit by three smart bombs and my uh, shield is instantly wiped out. My uh, armor is holding pretty well for now. But if I continue to stay there too long or if I forget to put a module, it could be bad. Use my MWD to get away quicker. Normally I just set it to where I'm away from the main material at uh, 10 kilometers. If not, I just go into life. No, I'm no longer getting hit. See, I'm no longer getting hit, so I'm just going to come to a stop. Gonna continue shooting at the their own ship. I was supposed to be taking out the small one first, but he's getting away at a good range, so I can hit him. Now sometimes I just get a little lazy, I just stop playing for a second, gotta take a drink of a beer, you know. Cruisers coming in, they're dead, battleships last. I start labeling because some of them are getting a little bit too far already. A little bit of a mislabel on the A, but. But you know, it's all good. The last spawn is getting ready to spawn up. See, they, they go down really quick. I think this is about five minutes and then they're all gone. They're about maybe five, five to ten minutes. Last wave. So now I'll go ahead and show you what these fits have the materials as well as a paladin. You can use an APOC, a Madden, anything that you need. I just don't recommend drones because they can die from smart bombs really easy. I'm just gonna head back to my uh, station and I'll show you what the what these fits look like. So just before the last video you could see that uh I actually had some uh, that ticker and it said 20 million, 22 million. So all that pops up on all four characters. So for this Paladin, I have uh, 
four megapulse twos multi frequency is my main and then the conflag if whatever needs to get taken down um my two heat sinks an em and a thermal because he's a sanctions and then a re just a reactive to switch the damage around whatever i'm taking more of and then there's a dark blood uh large armor repair i don't have anything in those uh rig slots just yet i totally forgot to put them on whenever i repackaged and moved just some regular uh cap and then i'm cap stable see i made 22 million and then earlier i made 17 so it'll go up the more you play it so imagine that's every 15 minutes of 22. so since it says 22 on this screen my other three will say the same thing and i'll show you here in a second but so i'm getting 22 million or 20 million so 20 times four is what 80 million and then 80 times four four again because every 15 minutes is the ticker uh, so for 320 million making about 320 million every uh every hour uh, let's go to my yeah okay so these are my uh my carrots. they are all the same and let's see yep c22 million same thing and then 17 from before 18 there about uh let's see so all of my ships are cap stable so i don't ever have to worry about that this sons or this material i do believe let me see i'm trying to look at the second monitor i got something popped up here for a second but all right so i got my capacitors to help out of course to keep the cap stable got three of them in the rig slots i have uh, more caps a lot of caps same thing with the resistance but this one has a large wrapper too i see it still works these are the imperial navy large emp smart bombs these are Sancha's uh, rats, so EMP is the way to go. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Get out there, try it out. Just make sure you have about four billion. That's about as much as it'll cost to get all four ships fitted and ready to go. But I'll go ahead and leave you with this note. This is my paladin once again. Really cute, really expensive. An epoch would work and a bad one would work uh or anything that you can just do not use anything that uses uh missiles i forgot to tell you about that if you have something that uses missiles the smart bombs will destroy the missiles and you won't get any dps out of something like uh, anything that uses uh missiles so keep the projectiles um hybrids is fine i just use these because the crystals don't break I'm saving money that way i don't continuously have to buy con flags and uh, it's just easier on the on the wallet. But if you have any questions, comments, concerns, just go ahead and let me know, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching, guys.